we've seen these wild swings when it comes to stocks. It feels like investors aren't exactly sure what to expect at this point, taking data point by data point um, and making decisions. But that's somewhat of a, a choppy market. It's not the kind of um, momentum and trajectory that we've seen over the course of the last couple of years. No, you're right. I mean, the market's not going anywhere fast, right? I mean, if you look at this year so far, we've had big up days, big down days, but really the news hasn't changed. Uh, we've got this conflict going on in Ukraine right now. Uh, we talked a lot here this morning about interest rates going up, tightening policy. What is that going to put us into recession? And, you know, I think when everyone gets dour, and if you look at strategists right now, they're very, very negative. If you look at uh, the AI sentiment in indicator, which weekly comes out, it's at the lowest level in 30 years. People are more bearish than they've been in 30 years. You know, I suspect you're lining up for surprises being the positive here. I mean, we've seen earnings so far this earnings season have been very, very good. And I mentioned I traveled yesterday. Uh, I was doing research. I was mm -hmm. actually on vacation. Um, and you could see, I mean, the pent up demand for people to travel. I mean, every hotel was booked and you could barely get on a flight. Uh, just talks about those animal spirits that are out there. And the American household right now, with wages going up, uh, money saved since the pandemic, I think what everyone's really discounting right now is just how much demand there is to spend, even if inflation's higher. And that's going to continue to drive the economy. And with Senate being so negative right now, I think your biggest risk here, you heard it here first, Dennis, hear, Dennis hears me say this every single week, and he probably cringes. I think markets are going to go a lot higher. You know, I think yeah. you're going to see a melt up here at some point just because there's so much negative news already baked into the market. The